folks, DC here from DC's Gadgets. It is the 15th of March, 2020. I'm just leaving the gym and do a video. I do a lot of videos in the truck. It's just convenient because I spend a lot of time in my truck. Uh, <clears throat> I talk about queen discs today because it's the queen rearing season and I'm selling more discs. And I get some questions on how to use the thing. And I must confess, when I made it, I made it primarily with the market towards people that raise queens on a regular basis so a lot of the principles involved in this thing they already understand but for the guy who's just kind of starting out or playing with the uh, the whole idea of making queens it may not be clear so I'm going to try to clear a few things up and I'll just superimpose images of the disc when I edit this thing and play with it that way so the way the disc works the inside wheel represents the day of the month where the egg is laid so we deal with I'm dealing with the age from egg, not larva, because if you start talking about a larva age and egg age, it just gets way too confusing. So we work from the age of the egg. So day one, she lays an egg in the cell. And we want to graft it on day four. I mean, technically, the egg hatches into a larva on day three and a half, but you know, there are no such thing as half days. So we're going to graft it on day four, and we're going to put it in the cell builder. So the question comes, a lot of people ask, well, how do I know I've got a day four larva? Well, that's, that's one of the problems that people that do this all the time tend to forget that people that don't do it all the time don't know what it looks like. Now you can go online and you can look at pictures of what different age larva looks like and get an idea, but you know, first-hand experience, there is, there is no substitute for experience, no matter what you're doing. So here's how you can get a day four larva pretty much guaranteed every time you want to graft. You pick the day you want to graft and four or four and a half days before that day you go in the box you're going to graft from, you find the brood chamber, you open it up and you stick a frame of drawn comb right between two brood frames. And as soon as you do that the worker bees in that brood chamber are going to start cleaning those cells out and she's going to find them empty cells and she's going to go crazy and start laying eggs on it. So let's say, for example, you want to graft on Saturday. So sometime between, it's like noon Tuesday and noon Wednesday, you need to drop a fresh piece of comb in the brood chamber. It's got to be drawn comb. Don't put foundation. They have to draw it out. Now, a lot of people like to graft on a dark background. I do agree it is a lot easier. And I, I use all drawn comb. So... For me, I would find a piece of not really old, hard, dark comb, but a piece of comb that's had a few generations in it where the, the cells are darker. Trying to graft on brand new, fresh, soft comb sucks because even the Chinese tool will go right through the bottom of it. So like I say, sometime between noon Tuesday and noon Wednesday, you open up your box right in the brew chamber. You slap in a nice frame of comb. Dark comb's easy to see them. You leave it there till Saturday. When you pull it out Saturday, you're going to have eggs that haven't hatched yet, and you're going to have larvae. Every single larva on that frame is graftable. Now, some are going to be a little bit older than others. It doesn't matter. You can graft a larva from day three and a half to approximately day six and a half. And theoretically, your, your three and a half day larva should make a better queen than a six and a half day larva. But if you're playing around with this for your personal queens, you can take a chance on a queen. I mean, my philosophy has been, I would rather have a mediocre queen that's laying 800 eggs a day than no queen at all. And I can always do another run and try to get a you know, 12, 1400 egg a day queen somewhere else. But in any case, so that's how you start. You're going to put your frame in there four and a half days before you're going to graft. Guaranteed you're going to have larva you can graft. Cell builders are one of these things that there's probably... A million ways to make a cell builder. I got a video I'm going to put out here um, probably later today, maybe tomorrow, on making. I made a cell builder by just taking the queen and all the brood out of a five frame nuke box. Um, just a wild hair, we're going to check it today. I guarantee they'll make cells. We'll see how many. But I run all medium boxes. My cell builder is a five frame medium nuke, and I only graph 12 at a time, and I average nine accepted cells out of 12. I mean, some days I get 8, some days I get 11. I think I only got 12 twice last year, but I, I don't care. I, if I can get 8 or 9 a week, that's all I can work with anyway, because I still got a full-time job. So if you want to put together a cell building and you have time, 
I mean, you can you can throw a five frame nuke together, put a queen in there, let her start laying eggs for a couple weeks, you know, establish the colony, get a couple, get a actually more than a couple weeks, say from at least a month, get a good generation of brood going in there. Then you can go in that box, take out the queen, take out all your brood frames, shake all the bees in there, put a couple food frames in it. They're not gonna they're not gonna move on you because they're in the same location you started at. You go back three hours after you did that, put a bar of grass in, I guarantee they'll make queens. That, that's a way to make a sail builder. Uh -huh. There's a lot of YouTube videos making sail builders. And Michael Palmer's got some great stuff on sail builders. Um, Ian Stepler up in Canada's got some stuff. Jason Crispin makes a sail builder. He, he does the, like the closed builder, the swarm box builder. Lots of stuff in it. So you don't know how you make your builder. So you make your builder up. To make your builder up, typically I make my builder up the same day I'm going to graft. About three hours prior to grafting is typically enough time. Make up your builder. You got the comb that's been in the box for about four and a half days. You've got acceptable larvae. You stick them in the builder. So let's go around the wheel. So you line up the word graft with the day of the month. So today's the 15th. We're going to put number four under 15. That's the day of the month. So I'm going to actually do this trying to drive down the road play with my disc. Not a good idea, right? I'll be parked in the driveway in a minute. I'll probably just do it there. So you line up number four with 15. When you go around the outside of the disc, it says on the 20th, the cells will be capped. And then you go a little farther than that. It says on the 23rd, incubate. Now that does not mean you have to incubate. What that means is if you want to put them in an incubator, you can take them out of the out of your cell builder, your whatever you cell store you want to call it. You can take them out of the cell builder on that day when it says incubate. And you can stick them in an incubator. And this is what I do because I prefer to work with a, a virgin queen out of a out of a, in a cage. It just fits my work schedule better because I work a five day week. And then now I graft on Sundays and I typically typically put queens out on Friday and Saturday. So by letting them emerge in the incubator, I get to actually look at the queen and I can tell she's not deformed, and I can put her in a uh, nuke box. It, it doesn't really matter. If you follow just by the disc, you can you can put them in an incubator on that day or uh, if you wait two more days, you can stick them in a nuke. Or actually, if you really wanted to, you could take them out there on day 12, and you can stick them in a nuke, and the nuke will finish them. Right? You don't want to mess with them between day 9 and 12. They're pretty fragile at that time. Uh, a lot of people say they're like, it's like nitroglycerin. I don't think it's quite that bad, but you definitely don't want to shake the frames between days 9 and 12. It's not a good idea. So you put it in the nuke, and then a little star indicates when she's coming out. Um, I tried, to, I tried to draw a crown, and when they engraved the crown, it, it looked more like a star to begin with, so I just left a star. And it actually made it into a star. So according to our schedule here, if we graph today the 15th, I'm expecting the queen to come out on the 27th. And then you go around the disc a little bit further, and we're going to start looking for eggs and larvae in the cell on the 5th on the fifth of the month. Give her plenty of time to start laying. And what I, what I typically do, though, if I, if I put a cell in a box, and not a virgin queen, I would probably go in the box um, somewhere around the 30th just to make sure the bottom of the cell is open and she's actually in there running around and then come back and look for eggs. So that's how the disc works. I mean, I've got a instruction sheet on my uh, Blogspot page and I'm going to actually update that a little bit more with some more information and uh, actually describe making some cell builders. I've actually got a page there. It says all about raising queens or all about queen. I can't why I titled it. It's my page. I think it's all about raising queens. Or at least everything I know right now, and I keep learning all the time, so I keep changing stuff on that page. But yeah, check out the page, the um, website. Um, if you if you do, but if you do on a regular basis, this is really handy because especially if you graft on more than one day of the week. Like right now, I just graft on Sundays, but then starting the first week of April, I'm going to graft on Sundays and Thursdays. So I'll write the dates on top of my frames when I move them to the incubator. And then with the disc, at least I can write the, the day I graft and the day I expect them to come out. And when I put them in the nuke. And it makes life just a whole lot easier. It's real simple calculations. So check it out. DCsGadgets.blogspot.com.